sampling. I kind of want to let this go too, but there's got to be a way to understand what's in our drinking water today or the water we might drink tomorrow. We look at this planet with satellites. We show imagery of space. We put a helicopter on the planet Mars and intend to go mine the place, I guess. I don't know what the intent is. I think it's lost now. The honesty in it is lost. We're going to Mars to mine. It wasn't to look for little green men. That's a byproduct of the reason we are interested in Mars. But the ego's pumping us there, suck. So sampling, back to sampling. This has to be. <laughs> what is in their question? Down to an isotope level. And there's so much more to it that could be done after that. What's the size of the sample? How much can you afford to ship around? You need to consider thousands of samples, hundreds from each state. So <clears throat> there's places that do this type of processing, professionally, privately, organizationally, institutionally, and they put that data somewhere. There's a paper going around a request to upgrade the nation's radiation monitoring system for the nation. Could you imagine that? The forethought, the reasons that people would be doing that type of sampling, even suggesting that type of sampling. Trusting how these samples are run, how they're done, I suppose isn't going to be easy. Building <laughs> a warehouse full of samples to run would be a challenge. That's the idea. Peace is out.